I need you, Lord, to teach me to pray. And I, I tell you, it was clear as day. He said, just pray my words back to me. And I would say to you, for persons who are afraid to, to pray, I started praying the Psalms. I started and I realized that the Bible called David a man after God's own heart. Okay. So when he talked to God, he told God just how he felt. Okay. I mean, we, when, we, when we go before God, we shouldn't go pretending because God knows us. He knows everything about us. So there's no use going to God, oh, heavenly Father, most gracious, most majestic God. God, I don't feel good today. Yeah. I need your help. Yeah. And there were times, David, David didn't feel real good. He said, God, listen, what's going on with the enemy? Why does it look like the enemy is succeeding? Why does it look like the enemy is, is overpowering the just? How is it that the enemy is prospering and I am struggling? Mm -hmm. Lord, this, this one made me mad. You need to break all his teeth. Mm -hmm. That's, That's how he felt. How he, mm -hmm. And the Bible says he was a man after God. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to God pretending. When we, when we pray, when we go before God, let's just be ourselves. Mm -hmm. There's a portion of scripture that talk, you, you know, you, you, you talk to God, get comfortable. Talk to God as if you're talking to your best friend. Yes. You will share yes. everything with that one person. Yes. But you can consider God your best friend. Yes. And just share with God exactly how you feel. I, I can't tell you, and I, I even now I get kind of, I don't know, sheepish when people come to me and say, oh my God, you could pray. And it has nothing to do with me. Just talking to God and, and feeling comfortable and Asking his Holy Spirit yes. to pray for me. The Bible says there are times we don't know what to pray for. Like we ought to pray. But the Holy Spirit, who, who knows the mind of God? The Bible says he makes intercessions for us. Sometimes with groanings that cannot be other than he who searches the heart. Knows what the mind of the Holy Spirit is. Because the Holy Spirit makes intercessions for us. According to the will of God. Amen. The Holy Spirit. There's a portion of scripture talking about prayer which says, Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. That word petition, in this, in another translation, is often translated as supplication. When you petition someone or when you make supplication, you are asking for something of someone. In this case, we are petitioning our Heavenly Father, who knows what we need even before we ask. When you present your desires to God after worshiping, the Lord's Prayer says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We worship him. We confess our sins. We confess our faults. We thank him for his many blessings. And we can present our petitions to him. The second thing we are to do is to devote ourselves to the reading of God's word. Devote ourselves to Bible reading. The scripture says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 13, until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of scripture. There's another portion of scripture, Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. For Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. Let me ask you a question. Could you imagine if we as women of God, if we as followers of God devoted ourselves to the studying of the scripture? What would that look like? I think it would be awesome. Yes. For a lot of us, that time, again, this calls for carving time 
to read and study the scriptures. 